Inspiration uh, Challenge by Mike Deacon uh, for July. And uh, most of this video is going to take me half a day to make in terms of actually filming what I'm going to do. So I'm not going to have you sit around and watch dried paint or watch paint dry as they say. I'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding of this video and then I'm going to uh, do voiceover with it as well. So uh, stay tuned. We never know what's going to turn out with this and we'll see you in a minute. For this month's uh, challenge of mission inspiration, uh, Mike has put out the following 10 steps. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Mission Inspiration, check out Mike Deacon's Facebook page. Mike Deacon, uh, Deacon is spelled D-E-A-K-I-N. He's a gentleman from the UK, um, does wonderful YouTube videos, and I have a review of his YouTube videos on my YouTube station, so you can check that out. Um, and join if you're interested. Uh, it gives you some inspiration every month for doing a new type of, of journal page. So this month, in the challenge, he's put out that we have to apply a base page color with a baby wipe. Then we're going to glue some tissue or napkin fragments. We're going to add a thin layer of white gesso or paint. Add texture paste through a stencil. Add two contrasting colors. Adhere book text fragments. Stamp an image or patterns. Add a focal image or shape. Add handwritten song lyric quote. And finish with a border of your choice. Well, in the uh, last second last step he's saying uh, add a lyric so I'm taking a musical theme with this and I believe the uh, one that he did as an example on his YouTube channel is also a music one but I'm also trying something out that's a little different for me I've created a planning sheet let me get that out of the way for a second so basically I, I've taken the challenge and there's a glare on that picture and I decided first of all to find my focal image and I found this Norman Rockwell image that came out of an old uh, book that I chopped up for collage elements and I'm going to use this particular picture as my focal point. I am going to cut it down a little bit and then from there I've picked out my color scheme and that's what my chart is. Focus graphic, color scheme, background elements, mediums, techniques and quotations. So it's sort of just a brainstorming plan uh, to get me through the exercise. Now I'll probably deviate from this and that's fine. It's just a, a way of getting myself started. So, so I already mentioned the focus graphic. Then my color scheme, well I'm picking up some of the reds, the blues, the whites, the pinks and the dark greens that are in this picture as well. Uh, what combination I will use these in I'm not really sure. Although in two of the steps, and I've noted those down here in Mike's description, uh, he says that we have to do um, a basic color background, and I might use a combination of green and white for that. And then later on in step five, you're to use contrasting colors, and right now I'm thinking of using blue and yellow. We'll see. Um, background elements, well, he wants some tissue paper and some book text, so I'm going to use some Tim Holtz tissue that I have laying around and I've got some random pages out of a dictionary that I'll use. Um, some stamped images. Well I do have a set of musical instruments uh, in rubber stamps that come from Stampers Anonymous so I'm thinking of using those. And uh, we're supposed to stencil something as well. Well I've got a music note stencil as you'll see so I'm going to use that too. On mediums, I'm going to use gesso and I'm going to use texture paste. Uh, probably use the texture paste with the stencil. And then as far as techniques are concerned, well, the texture paste through the stencil and maybe some form of a border treatment with some pens or inks or whatever, we'll see. And as far as quotations are concerned, I looked up the lyrics to the old song from the Music Man 76 Trombones. And there's one line that says, and the trumpeters who improvised a full octave higher than the score. I think I'm going to incorporate that onto the page in some way as well. So that's my plan and I'll refer to that throughout this video. So I am going to do this in my round uh, journal, my circle journal, and I have already pre-gessoed my page for this. So let's get started. Now what I'll do is I'll uh, go through each step. Uh, I will do a voiceover and I will speed the video up to at times so we're not sitting around watching wet paint dry. Okay, so step number one is apply a base page color with a baby wipe. So I've picked out my three colors, green, 
white and pink and I've got my baby wipe handle and so here I go. Okay, so step number two, glue tissue or napkin fragments. So this is where I'm going to use uh, my Tim Holtz uh, tissue paper. And I'm also going to use uh, Tim Holtz collage distress medium and one of his collage brushes to stick this down. And I'm gonna rip it into strips and pieces and go from there. Step three is to add a thin layer of white gesso or paint. Step four, add texture paste through a stencil. So I have this stencil with musical notes on it and I'm going to use the Ranger texture paste for this. Next step, add two contrasting colors. So I was originally going to use acrylic paint, but now I think what I'm going to use are my distress inks and I'm using salty ocean and mustard seed for this. Next, adhere book text fragments. So I've got a page here in book, out of a book, and I'm going to rip it up. And I'm going to apply it with uh, the collage uh, medium again. And here we go. stamp image and patterns. That's uh, step number seven. So I'm going to use my Stampers Anonymous uh, musical instruments and uh, stamps and I'm using archival uh, a red ink and I'm just going to use the trumpet. That's the only musical instrument I'm going to use because that's the thing that's in my um, focal image. So now we come to step eight, add the focal image. And I've already cut out my focal image here, so now I just have to figure out where to place it, and then I'm going to stick it down with some more of the Tim Holtz collage medium. Step nine add handwritten song lyric. Well, I hate my handwriting, so I used my label maker and I printed out the two lines from 76 trombones and I'm going to stick them down to my focal image right here.
Now the final step, finish with a border of your choice. So I thought I'd get out my Distress uh, crayons and try those for a border treatment and I have them in two shades of brown and I'm going to go all around the edge and then I'm going to smear them with my finger. Then as a finishing touch I thought I'd get out some of my uh, black and white journaling pens and maybe do some highlighting around uh, my labels and around the focal image. But I found as I got these out um, they just weren't working very well on the uh, final piece. Um, so I got out my pit brush pens and I thought I'd use those and I'm using a red a browny red kind of color and I'm just going to scribble around the edges of my focal point and then I'm going to smudge those with my finger to give sort of a light shadowy effect. And as a finishing step, I got out my Molotol uh, white paint marker and I'm just going to scribble a little border around my labels on here just to make them stand out a little bit more. And I have finished the July's Mission Inspiration Challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you later.